Hey guys, it's me, Mine Luke, and in today's video, I will show you guys how to use Project Reboot to play any season with your friends. This is an updated tutorial for 2024 which shows you how to use Reboot, Play It, and Lawn Server, which are all safe to use. So, let's get right into the video. First of all, you're going to join the Reboot Discord server, the link is in my description. Once you join, you're going to go to the Launcher tab. Once you go here, find this launcher right here, or the newest release that has been posted. And then you'll get taken to this GitHub page. Click on the Reboot Launcher Windows Setup file, and then it should download. Once it's done downloading, open up the launcher file, and then it will say this. Click on more info, and click on run anyway. This is completely safe to use. I've been using Reboot for two years now, ever since it came out in 2022. So click on that. And then you should get this pop up on the screen. Click on yes. And then click on next, and then you can tick off these additional shortcuts. So you've got a desktop shortcut or you can make it automatically start the reboot launcher every time you turn on your PC. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to create a desktop shortcut. Then click on next, then click on install. And just like that, the reboot launcher should start installing. Whilst reboot is installing, go to your antivirus settings, and then when you're here, click on manage settings. And then turn off real-time protection. This is because Reboot is a false positive which uses files that inject into the game for it to run and it has nothing to do with normal Fortnite. Now go back to the Reboot Launcher installer and click on finish and make sure that the Launch Reboot Launcher is ticked. Now once you're here, you will need to read the instructions for at least 3 minutes long. And you may be wondering why. Well, the reason why is because a lot of people were asking in the Discord for help and I'm guessing that it was a bit too much so they decided to make a full guide showing you how to use Project Reboot. So make sure to read the instructions carefully before you actually load into it if you want to find out more about what Project Reboot is before you actually use it. Once you've read the instructions, you can continue on into the launcher. So in the play section, you can play the OG Fortnite version you've installed. In the host section, you can host the OG Fortnite version, which I'll show you guys how to do that later. You've got the server browser where you can join people's games. You have the back end where you can check if the server works. So as you can see, I can start the back end and make sure that I can load into OG Fortnite, just like that. And you've also got the settings right here. Another thing that will need to be installed is Node.js and you can install it by simply pressing the download button on its website. And then just open the setup file and click on next. Click on I accept the terms and click on next. Click on next. And then just keep on clicking next until you see install. Then click on install. And as you can see it's now installed. Then press on finish. Now I'm going to show you guys how to install the Fortnite version. So you want to go to the link in my description which has the Fortnite builds github with pretty much almost every single version from pre-battle royale which lists all the way down to chapter 3 season 2. Now reboot only supports chapter 1 season 1 to chapter 3 season 1. And it may support chapter 3 season 2 in the future. And last time I showed Chapter 2 Season 2, but this time I'm going to show a really highly requested season, Chapter 3 Season 1. And you should find it here as Season 19 with version 19.10. So all you need to do is click this link and it should start installing. Now this file is 38 gigabytes, but once you extract it, which I'll show you guys how to do later, this version is around 60 to 70 gigabytes, which is insane, but I know a lot of you guys really wanted me to show off this season in the last video that I made on Project Reboot. And by the way, thanks for all the support in that video. Anyways, I'm going to let this season install. Hopefully it doesn't take around two hours and I'll be back for you guys once it's done. Now, once it's done installing, show it in folder and you should see this RAR file. Now you should be able to click the next link in my description which will let you install WinRAR. This program pretty much lets you extract files, so click here and as you can see you should have the EXE. Now you should get a pop up like this and click on yes. And then you should get taken here, click on install and then just click on ok, make sure all these are ticked. And then click on done and you should see the file icon should look like this. Now right click on it and click on extract to the version number backslash. You should see this and then click on that and then all you need to do is wait. Now this can take time depending on the size of storage that the version takes up of Fortnite and how fast your CPU really is but I'll be back for you guys once it's done. This might take time for me because of how much content was in Chapter 3 Season 1. Once it's done extracting you can delete the RAR file right here. Make sure it's the one with the .rar in it. So right click and then delete. And you should have a folder. In that folder, there should be two folders, Engine and Fortnite Game, right here. Once you've checked that, open back up the Reboot Launcher and then click on Select a Version. Click on Add Local Build and then give it a name. I'm going to call it 19.20 or you guys can call it whatever you want. Then click on the folder icon and then click on the folder 
and make sure you get to this part here where you click on the button select folder and then click on save and then it should come up now once you've done this head over to the back end and make sure that this is selected on embedded and you can use a local back end if you like in the description i'll be linking a tutorial showing you guys how to get skins on reboot and then you can start the back end so click on that and it will say the back end was successfully started and then you want to go to play once you're in play make sure that you're selected on the fortnite season and then click on launch and if you get this pop up then you can either click on ignore or you can click on start server i'm going to show you guys how to start the server in a second so i'm just going to click ignore but if you want to start the server right away then click on start server and you should be loading into fortnite it should say here launching the game client and then give it a few seconds and as you can see we are now loading into fortnite chapter 3 over two years later i have not played chapter 3 in so long this season we had spider-man colombo and as you can see we are now loading into the game if you want proof here's the reboot launcher and as you can see we are on the game mode selection screen and as you can see we are now in fortnite chapter 3 season 1 as you can see because we are using lawin server we can look at every single skin from chapter 3 but now i'm going to show you guys how to host a server first of all you want to go back onto the reboot launcher and then go to the host section when you're here you can go to options and make sure that headless is ticked also, I recommend ticking virtual desktop and automatic restart so every time the game ends, it already restarts the server. So you don't need to manually restart it, it automatically does it. Now, once you've done that, then just click on start hosting and it's that simple. Now, all you need to do is wait for the game server to launch. When you start up the server, you should get this pop-up saying like you've got a brand new friend, but that's because it lets you know that the server is loading up. Now you should get this menu right here. Now once you're on this menu, you can change stuff like you can enable developer mode, you can turn on infinite ammo, infinite materials, no MCP, so this is for skins, and like I said, there's a tutorial in the description showing you guys how to do that. You can also change the playlist, and I'll show you guys how to do commands and stuff later. And then all you need to do is tick or untick your options, and you can even do late game. And then once you're done with that, make sure that this is set to one and your server should start up give it a sec and there we go if this says joinable false you cannot join but as you can see it says joinable true so that means you guys can join and then i recommend going to somewhere like the battle pass or something and then click on this key on screen just under the escape key or you can click on f8 and that should also work you should get this console at the bottom of your screen and it's really simple what you type just type in open 127.0.0.1 and then click on enter and then, and you should load into the game. And as you can see, we are now in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1. Oh my days, it's been a long time since I played this season. Now this actually feels so smooth because you're on zero ping. If I go to net debug status, as you can see I'm on zero ping because this is my own server. Because you got zero ping and unlimited FPS, you can play. Oh, we got the auto shotgun, like, bro, this shotgun, I don't know, it used to be so slow to reload though, look at that. There it is. And we got the OG map, look at that. Anyways, if you guys open the reboot menu again, you can actually do a lot of stuff. Now there's also a new developer tab. Now most of this, I don't know what it means besides maybe like the vending machines and the rebooting. So I'm guessing you can actually do team game modes now. And this means you can also reboot your friends when you're playing. Anyways, to start the bus, just click on the start bus button. And as you can see, we are now in game. We also have the Christmas battle bus. Oh my days, man. The December 2021 vibes are crazy. I really do miss this time. I had so much fun, you know, like it was Christmas time. And also, whoa, look at the Tilted Towers down there. That is crazy. But here we are, Tilted Towers, the Chapter 3 version, in 2024. Boom, oh my god, Legendary Stinger SMG and a Shield Keg. Bro, these things were so OP back in the day though. Now you want to click this link in my description, which will take you to the Play It website. Once you're here, click on Download and then find windows and click on install. Once it's done installing, open up the setup file and then follow the setup. So just click on next, click on next and then click on install. And then it should be done installing. Once you've done that, you can now log in. And then all you need to do now is create an account or you can use a guest account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. Now, all you need to do is open up the playit.gg application. You can find it by going to your windows bar and you should see playit.gg. Copy this link by highlighting it and pasting it into your browser. Once you've done that, give it a few seconds to connect, and then click on continue. And then once you do that, if you go back to the program, it should set up, and then you need to copy this link, and paste it again into your browser. Then you want to click on add tunnel. Once you click on that, then make sure the region is set to this, 
and then go to the tunnel type and click on TCP plus UDP. Once you click on that, make sure that you do not use it for any malware purposes. And then click on yes. And then make sure the port count is on 1 and the local port is on 7777. Then click on add tunnel. And as you can see, your tunnel should be pending. Then you'll get these two addresses right here. These are used to host your friends and to send them this IP to use it to join your game. And by the way, all the stuff that I've shown in this video are completely safe to use. And I've shown the same method twice in two of my videos. And this will allow you to host your friends. Now let me show you guys how to join your friends. So once you've got your server all set up, all you need to do is test it out by having the playit.gg open. All you need to do is copy this address right here, which is completely custom. So just copy it. Then all you need to do is send your friend the IP and make sure to include the open. And there you go, that's just it. And then make sure that they open the console and put in that command that you sent them. And as you can see, my friend is now in the game. Let me try and find him. Alright, so where could he be? Oh, there he is over there. I actually see him. Yo, no way. There he is over there. As you can see, it does work. And he's right there playing the game. Shoot me out. Cranking on him. There he is. And it all works. That is so cool. And as you can see, we are now playing the game. And as you can see, thank the bus driver. There is proof he's in my game right now. There's only two players as well. And here is a chapter 3 map. And as you can see, this does fully work. You can actually play with your friends. Where is he? There he is below there. And there's so much stuff you can do in this server. And because I'm at the Daily Bugle, I can actually give myself the Spider-Man Mythics. Oh, they're through the wall. But as you can see... There they are, the Spider-Man Mythics in 2024. Like I showed earlier, they do work even in multiplayer. So you can play with your friends with the Spider-Man Mythics. And like I said, there's late game as well. And there's so much more features on this server. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And soon I'm going to be making a tutorial showing you guys how to use commands as I didn't include it in this video. And see you all in the next one.